The dry season continues across Trinidad and Tobago, but there will be a few clouds around and further up the island chain, but there's also some Sahara dust in there, so we could be seeing some hazy skies from time to time. Can't pick it out here on this picture, but definitely it is there and it will likely come through, especially at the lower levels. So do watch out for some hazy spells across parts of our eastern Tobago, through Roxburgh, coming down towards Scarborough, and eventually pushing across much of the island chain, but there will be a couple of brief showers expected as we go through the morning. Now for Trinidad, it could be some damp spots, especially towards the south, that is uh, through San Fernando, going down towards a Pinal and Guaragrari. So here you will see those morning showers popping up from time to time, but there will also be some Sahara dust further towards the north and the east, and that eventually will also push through as you get towards the end of the Tuesday. But it will likely still feel warm, 32 degrees Celsius likely in Trinidad, 31 degrees Celsius in Cane and Tobago, possibly higher in Scarborough, obviously with a lot of the buildings around there generating a lot more heat. So if you're looking to escape the heat and go to the beaches, there's also a moderate chop offshore, two meters, close to one meter as you get closer to the shoreline around uh, the Gulf of Paria, and the east-northeasterly swells continuing to be short at 68 seconds with fresh easterly winds of 20 knots for sailing. And we've been talking about uh, what will likely happen for the next uh, few days. Well, it seems as though we could be seeing a bit more moisture as we go through midweek, through Wednesday and a Thursday in particular. Possibility of some uh, added cloudiness and uh, showers, especially for Trinidad as you go through Thursday. So that's your weather and that's it from me.